for exclusive content that Shikama offers, join us over at Patreon as supporter of the Shikama Live Show. That's video content you won't see on YouTube that can help you grow and maintain your wealth, financial education wrapped up in plain English, and video series of interesting and thought-provoking topics. Join us at bit.ly slash patron check. It's the first link in the information box. Strong U.S. retail sales reinforce December interest rate hike. Welcome to the Shikama Live Show with your host, Shikama. U.S. retail sales rose more than expected in October as households bought motor vehicles and a range of other goods, pointing to sustained economic strength that could allow the Federal Reserve to raise interest rates next month. The Commerce Department said on Tuesday, retail sales increased 0.8% last month, also boosted by demand for building materials, likely as households cleaned up and made repairs in the wake of Hurricane Matthew. Quote, this is just the kind of data the Fed doves need to see to convince them to hike rates in December. The economy is doing pretty well. This data is bullish for the economic outlook in the months ahead, said Chris Rupke, Chief Economist at MUFG, Union Bank in New York. Adding to this report's strong tone, September retail sales were revised up to show a 1.0% increase instead of the previously reported 0.6% rise. The combined September and October sales gain was the largest two-month rise since early 2014. Sales were up 4.3% from a year ago. Excluding automobiles, gasoline, building materials, and food services, retail sales jumped 0.8% last month after an upwardly revised 0.3% gain in September. These so-called core retail sales, which correspond most likely with the consumer spending components of gross domestic product, were previously reported to have risen 0.1% in September. Economists had forecast overall retail sales increasing 0.6% and core sales advancing 0.3% last month. The strong sales report is a good omen heading into the holiday shopping season. Last week, Macy's and Kohl's core expression optimism about the holiday shopping season despite reporting a decline in sales in the third quarter. U.S. stocks were trading mostly high, while the dollar was little changed against a basket of currencies. U.S. Treasuries rose after declining for five straight trading sessions. September's upward revision to core retail sales suggests that the economy's 2.9% annualized growth rate in the third quarter could be raised when the government publishes its second GDP estimate later this month. Coming on the heels of data this month showing a rapidly tightening labor market and signs of a turnaround in the manufacturing sector, the upbeat retail sales report implied a pickup in economic activity early in the fourth quarter. The Atlanta Fed lifted its fourth quarter GDP growth estimate by two-tenths of a percent point to a 3.3% rate after Tuesday's data. The report also reinforced views that the Fed will raise interest rates at its December 13-14 policy meeting. Rate hike prospects have also been bolstered by a rally in U.S. stocks in the wake of last week's election of Republican candidate Donald Trump as the next president, despite a lot of hand-wringing over his proposed policies. The Fed this month left interest rates unchanged but said its Monetary Policy Setting Committee quote, judges that the case for an increase in the federal funds rate has continued to strengthen. The U.S. Central Bank raised its benchmark overnight interest rate last December and has held its steady since, largely because of concerns over low inflation. By inflation, it is in cre- creeping higher. A separate report on Tuesday from the Labor Department showed import prices increased 0.5% in October after gaining 0.2% in September. 
In the 12 months through October, import prices fell 0.2%, the smallest decrease since July of 2014, after declining 1.0% in September. Retail sales last month were driven by a 1.1% increase in auto sales and a 1.5% surge in receipts at online retailers. Online retailers, like Amazon, have been grabbing market share from traditional department chains like Macy's and Kohl's. Sales at building materials stores increased 1.1% following a 1.8% rise in September. The strength in this category was reflected in Home Depot's robust third quarter profit and sales reports on Tuesday. Receipt at sporting goods and hobby stores rose 1.3%. Sales at restaurants and bars, however, fell 0.7%, likely as the stormy weather kept people at home. Households also spent more on clothing, grocery, and grooming last month, but cut back on furniture. Receipts at service stations advanced 2.2% on rising gasoline prices. Quote, as uncertainty over the election outcome remains elevated, October's retail sales performance provides some comfort that the primary driver of U.S. GDP growth remains on solid footing, said Sam Bullard, a senior economy at Wells Fargo Security in Charlotte, North Carolina. Thank you for watching the Shigama Live Show.